Yeah, well, I just wondered how this injury happened and what exactly they're telling you about it. Um, it was just playing pickup. Uh, went for a lob, came down awkward on it. Um, just put a lot of pressure on on the top of my foot and just ended up being like a mid, you know, a foot sprain. Um, that we're gonna work through, you know, the month of October, and then, um, you know, go day to day on and see the pain level, and uh, you know, just get it back to 100. percent So, I mean, really, just taking the time of not trying to come back early on it, and that's I think that's the most important part is just. Um, having the discipline of not being on it um, and letting it heal back together 100% um, throughout this month. Connor, front row, right hand side. Connor Letourneau, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Willie, obviously, you were very excited about this new chapter with the Warriors and everything. How kind of just frustrating is it that's to have to wait to get on the court, and how are you dealing with that? Yeah, man, I mean, that's it's, it's so exciting out here uh, with the new arena and. Um, new guys coming together. So um, not being able to be you know, part of that on the court. Um, yeah, I, I feel like training camp is an important part of, of the year, just building that camaraderie together and um, really starting that, that battle um, going into the journey of the season. So uh, missing that and kind of being on your own uh, is tough. Uh, anytime you got an injury, it's tough because, you know, you're you kind of get put on to a, to a back seat. And so you got to find ways to keep yourself involved in the team and be around and not get like down on, on, on the situation. And, um, you know, really just staying mentally right to, to stay prepared. Second row, right hand side, Logan. Uh, Logan Murdoch, NBC Sports Bay Area. When you do get back, you know, you signed a, uh, a one year deal with a player option. What are you looking to prove uh, while you're here during this time? Man, I'm not looking to prove anything. I'm just. You know, coming out here to play hard and uh, try to f try to fit into a system that uh, I think I, I I'll thrive in, um, and also at the same time, you know, have the chance to to learn um, how to get to a, a, an entirely different level than I've been at, uh, and tap into something you know really great. Anything else for Willie? Back here, left hand side, about fourth row. Hey, Willie, Ben Ross, NBA Europe. Um, what do you think make, makes this franchise so special over the last few years, and what have you learned since joining? Um, I think trust. Uh, the trust between the front office to the coaches to the players to the training staff. Um, you know, all the way around, there's a, there's a trust that I've already felt um, and a belief that, like, that like you can get it done, and uh, I, I mean that's the biggest thing for me is I just feel like there's a there's a like a big support group here and to um, achieving you know single goals, team goals like it's all you know there's all like a big there's a, it's a platform of success here and um, it's it's obviously it works so it's like it's it's exciting to be around of just like picking dudes brains about certain situations and things like that it's just uh entirely different realm than I'm used to, and it's uh, exciting. Fourth row, right-hand side. Justice Del Santos, Bay Area News Group. You know, Steph and D'Angelo, two of the premier pick-and-roll ball handlers in the league. Uh, what are you sort of looking forward to when you're back on the court, and what have you sort of seen from them from the outside? Um, honestly, getting them open. Uh, outside looking in, uh, playing with, like, two top premier point guards um, and they're willing passers. Uh, I think, you know, it's like the easiest thing to just get them open and then it's, it's going to be in, in like a favor in return because I feel like breaking, like how it's, how it's going to play out is, I mean, you got to give up something and you're not going to give up three pointers. You're not going to give up D low. So you got to give up some something. And I feel like, you know, the, the dunker spot is going to be wide open. It's, it's like a honey hole. So, I mean, really just get these guys open and everything else will take care of itself. Third row, right-hand side, Ron. 
Ron Krojcik from the San Francisco Chronicle. You kind of just addressed this, but I'm curious your, when you do get back on the court, uh, how you think your style sort of fits with this team and maybe the contrast you and Kevon Looney at that center position can provide. Oh, man, just tremendous speed and, like, you know, being able to get out and run with both, like, anybody, honestly, uh, and, like, being to tap into, like, a defensive mind like Draymond um, is obviously going to put me at a whole higher level defensively, too. So um, me and Kevon, you know, are kind of like yin and yang. The way we play is totally opposite. Um, that's why it's going to work. Uh, and, like, I could teach him things that I that I do, and he can teach me things that he do that I that I that I obviously haven't done for the last you know four years. And um, watching him, you know, we came in together as rookies, so watching him come over here and seeing the things that he's done is like, you know, it's reassuring that like I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna learn to the best of my ability to try to do the same things. First row, left hand side, Monty. Monty Poole, NBC Sports Bay Area. Willie, uh, I've heard guys say in the past that when they get to a new team, that it's like a clean slate, a fresh start. Is that the sense you have? And if so, I mean, what does it mean to you to be able to go to a new team and kind of start over again? Oh yeah, it's like being a new kid at school. Um, you get to you get to write your own narrative. You get to 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 change habits that you had before and, and kind of you know take on a whole entirely different entity. Um, if, if you will, uh, and like here, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like perfect for what I got going on, um, off the court, on the court, the people around here, um, the support that you have, um, both on and off the court is, um, it's amazing. So, I mean, I mean, I'm just excited to really be, you know, part of this culture. 